it's Julie, <clears throat> pardon me, um, today is June the 10th, 2013, uh, Monday, um, I don't have a weight update for you because my scale is no good, and, um, so I don't have anything to weigh on, I think I'm somewhere in the, like, 188 mark somewhere in there. I don't know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I really need to prepare things to talk to you guys about. It really, we're, I, I'm kind of getting into a point that this is all the norm. All the normal stuff is happening now. Um, every day, every week is basically the same. I'm still, you know, trying to put protein in first and then, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting more active, um, not necessarily in the way that I thought I would, meaning I expected to be more active as far as, um, exercise is concerned, but what seems to be happening is that I am getting more active as in the living stuff. So going out, um, spending time with my friends, uh, family members, um, like I said, I think in a, a previous message, my dad um, runs a volunteer program. So, um, and they do events, they're medics for events. So, um, yesterday I went over to his house because they had some training. They do, um, they do pretty regular training things and, um, <clears throat> and, uh, they, um, were, they had a, one of the members, his friend is an EMT. So that guy came over and, um, you know, it just was training on, you know, proper use of equipment and what all the equipment does and that kind of stuff. It's just more of a refresher of how, you know, like how to get, um, how to get the equipment in and out of the ambulance and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold still. Um... Yeah, so uh, a couple of things. I mean, life, just life things. I'm I'm on the search for a new job. Um, I do technical support for a communications company right now um, and customer service. And um, I'm finding that I'm not particularly happy where I am. Um, I've been there over, uh, going on 10 years now. Um, discouraged in the direction the company is taking a little bit and um, I think maybe it's just time for a change because it, the position that I do doesn't change very much it's quite repetitive and um, even being repetitive it's it's still different every every time every call is a little bit different than the last um, but I just um, I don't know I want to um, I think I need to change so, if you guys are in the GTA, um, and have, you know, knowledge of any positions open or opening that I might qu be qualified for, if you want to leave me a message, um, of where the job posting is or how to apply or what the job is or whatever, that would be fantastic. I'm sending out, at this point, I'm, I'm just sending out resumes. It's, I have two jobs, so it's not a desperation kind of situation. It's kind of more of a just looking for a change. So um, I'm kind of looking for office, um, you know, customer service office stuff, not necessarily, you know, tied to um, tied to a phone line. That's how I am now. What I do now is an inbound call center. Um, so I'm literally tied to my desk by a phone line. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm more interested in uh, more of an office role. Um, so anyways, that's that's kind of where I am in my personal life. Um, volunteering with my, with my dad now. The next weekend on Saturday I'll be out um, with them again. <clears throat> um, from a weight loss surgery perspective, um, I'm trying to get in my protein. I, I I have buckled down and bought more protein powder to make protein shakes. 
um, because I'm just not getting enough in. So um, I've got to suck it up. They don't make me feel particularly well no matter how I prepare them. Um, they make me feel over full and um, just yucky for a while after I drink them. But it's either that or I'm not getting enough protein. So you got to do what you got to do, right? Um, I've also been eating a lot of um, canned meats. So like tuna and you know the canned chicken and canned ham and canned they're really super easy um, they're fast they're moist and they go down well and they have a lot of protein um, I also did the um, yesterday I tried the Stouffer's um, meatloaf and potatoes it's like those TV dinners um, I don't do them often because they have a lot of sodium um, so do some of the canned meats though too, so you have to be careful with that. Um, I don't tend to retain too much water, so the sodium, it's kind of a balancing act, right? When you look at the ingredients on stuff or you look at the, the stats on stuff, it's like, it's got great protein, which I need, it has high sodium, which I don't need, um, or, you know, it's really difficult to find that, that balance, that really good um, balance of, of what I should be eating. Um, you know, I want to get in as much um, natural meats as possible, um, but sometimes it's just not possible. And, and in my life, being as busy as I am, it's the same issue that I had previous to surgery. And, and this is something that I was saying before, that after surgery, your life doesn't change. Your busyness doesn't change. The people around you don't change, really. It's... You just you go on living exactly as you have been. So what I'm finding is happening now is the same thing that I had a problem with before surgery. So before surgery, I was too busy. Too busy to cook, too busy to prepare, too busy, um, too busy for a lot of things. And that holds true now. I'm still too busy. Um, and I like being busy. So you know, don't take that as a, oh, I'm too busy to, to take care of myself. It, it's not that I enjoy being busy, but that means that I need things that I can eat quickly, that can be prepared quickly, that can be, um, you know, my family's not necessarily with me on this. My, my husband has all the time in the world, but he doesn't do a heck of a lot. Um, where for me, I like to be out and about and going. Um, just pause there. I can only do that with this eye. I can't wink with this eye. Um, yeah, so I, I do things like I prepare chili, and then I can just grab a couple spoonfuls and go. Or like the canned meats, I just open them, <clears throat> mash them up, add a little bit of sauce to it, and today I have a meal. It took 15 seconds. Um, for the kids, you know, I prepare meals for them, but they're not necessarily meals that I can eat now. Um, I try to give them fun food a little bit. Um, you know, they eat a lot of, I don't know, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really enjoying being busy and being out and enjoying life. Um. I hope you guys are too. Um, I was never really a couch potato to begin with. I'm not a couch potato now. I don't think I ever will be a couch potato. Um, there's a lot of things I want to try now. Now that I'm feeling better, like I, I feel like I can move my body a little bit more. Um, that there are things that I want to try that I maybe didn't want to try before or didn't feel I could try before. Um, so the time is nigh. I'm going to do it now. And, you know, I've said this to, to my husband, I've said this to my kids, to friends and whatever. I've never in my adult life done anything selfish for me. My job, my, um, my activities, everything in my life I have done so far for other people, for my children, for my husband, um, and I'm not going to get into the details of, of, you know, what goes on 
with Rob and I, <clears throat> I kind of, we kind of touched on it before that he's bipolar, he's, you know, lost a leg, he's got um, all kinds of medical issues. And basically for our relationship, it's me holding everything up. I'm, I have to keep the job that I have now because it pays well and it's my job. And if I'm the only one working, then I don't have the um, ability or the freedom to really change where I am and what I'm doing because my seniority, benefits, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, I'm taking time for me. I'm doing things that I want to do. I am... Um, I'm putting myself on the front burner for a while. The way that I figured is if you can't handle it, then too bad. Because I've done everything for everybody else all along. Well, it's my turn. My kids are, they're not grown, but they're, my daughter's going to be 12 in July. My son is eight and a half. So they're a little bit more, <clears throat> They're a little bit more capable of, of handling themselves for a little while. Um, they don't need me to do everything for them. Um, you know, they're just, they're at a stage that they're a little bit easier to, to care for. My daughter's most at the age that she can be babysitting and, and I'm going to take advantage of that a little bit, you know. Um, my husband doesn't like to, it's not that he doesn't like to do things, he can't do some things, like because of his disability he you know he can't come running with me he can't um do all the active things that I want to do um so that means that I have to do them by myself and you know sometimes he complains about that sometimes he you know he thinks I'm gone too much he thinks that I'm um you know I spend too much time out um he doesn't necessarily like that but if I don't go out, if I don't do the things that I want to do, I feel held down. And I feel, um, I feel like I, you know, I don't want to watch you watch TV. I don't watch TV. I can't tell you the last time that I sat down and watched something straight through. It doesn't happen. Um, I'm more likely to be on the computer than I am to be on the TV any day of the week. Um, But I want to be out and enjoying life, especially in the summer. The summer is my time. It's warm. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, Rob doesn't like the summer. It's too hot for him. He sweats. He doesn't like it. Um, he prefers winter. In winter, I'm always freezing to death. So anything that I want to do in the winter is usually inside, except for that's going to change this year because I am buying a good snowsuit because I'm going to fit into good snowsuits so I'm buying one and then I can go out and play with the kids and not be like frozen freaking cold um I want to try you know a couple of winter sports see if I can find something that I like in the winter to do um but really I mean at the end of the day the idea here is I'm taking time for me it's time for me to take care of me a little. And I froze again. Okay, I'm at 14 minutes, so I'm going to let this go. Um, hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing really well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.